This week, the IFA makes its final regular stop of the season in the redfish-rich waters of Georgetown, South Carolina. We'll also bring you highlights from the Hobie Kayak Tour and give you a look at the all-new Hummingbird Helix. This week on the IFA Redfish Tour, presented by Cabela's. The Inshore Fishing Association and Cabela's present the oldest, largest, and most prestigious redfish tournament series in the nation. The IFA Redfish Tour, presented by Cabela's. Georgetown, South Carolina, one of the oldest ports on the eastern seaboard, and this week, the host for the final stop in the 2016 IFA's Atlantic Division. Georgetown is the best place for the IFA tournament. We've been here for a number of years. Uh, our first year here, it became very apparent very quickly that this is one of our favorite tour stops. The anglers talked about it. Uh, we started to notice a lot of out-of-state participation, guys coming from Florida, North Carolina to come to this tournament. And it's really all about the location and the hospitality. I mean, these guys have been absolutely great, welcoming the anglers in, roll out the red carpet, and it's just, it's a fishing community, but it, they also treat the anglers uh, the best, the best that they can. It's a variety of opportunities here, and we have hosts a number of tournaments, both freshwater and saltwater, and, and offshore as well. So, uh, lots of opportunities, lots of um, envy for people that visit us and wish they could be here year-round. But uh, a great environment for the outdoorsmen. Moving right into launch, we'll check in with Rob Baglin and Eric Govett. Let's do this. Like any day, I'm like a kid in a candy store when it comes to fishing. So I've uh, been up early this morning, couldn't sleep last night, just ready to go. Conditions today call for clearing skies and light wind, though the low tides will be a factor. It's the first day is cleared up. It's, it's supposed to be halfway decent clear weather, and uh, I don't know. It's been cloudy, and we've been catching fish with it cloudy, so I don't know if it's going to slow them down or make them bite better, but they've been biting good. So. Hopefully they'll continue to do the same today. Good luck. See y'all in a little bit. Give me game time, boys. Time to go, buddy. Let's go. Time to do it. Get down there and catch that first fish, and I'll feel a lot better. Anxiety will go away. We've got 72 teams on hand. They're looking for their best two redfish within South Carolina's 15 to 23 inch slot limit. Up for grabs is a total purse worth more than $37,000, including a brand new Ranger 1862 for first. We'll pick up tournament coverage with the local team of Brian Mims we'll and Ernest Wallace. Things. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? by it. Swam right by it. There's some more coming down. He's a bite. Get out! Damn it! I want to One. Yeah, that's fun fishing in, this, in these shells. He's coming right there too. But when you're fishing with these against these competition here, buddy, you got to make those count. One second. Little one. Another one. Nah, I got him. That one ain't gonna help us. Moving on, we'll check in with Rob Beglin and Eric Govett. They're on fish, but the first 15 to 23 inch South Carolina slot limit is proving to be a challenge. <laughs> he's slot, man, but he's gut hooked.
he ain't gonna win us any money. He just swallowed that one too. Swallowed it. That is not what we're looking for. Go from too small to too big. So hopefully, uh, like I said, we keep finding the guys that are in the middle somewhere. Uh, it's nice to know that I think that hopefully the feed's starting to come back on. But maybe now that this tide's turned, they'll start getting more aggressive than they were on that last part of that fall. Stay with us. There's a lot more tournament coverage ahead from historic Georgetown and the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Every curve, edge, line, and feature is designed for one quest, to seek, find, follow, and catch fish. It's all part of the Take Charge mission of the Ranger Saltwater Series. Experience the total performance difference at a Ranger dealer today. Whether you're trolling, bowling, drifting, anchored, or chasing the tide, these shallow water legends are built to fish as well as fly. Yamaha Outboards, you love the water, now own it. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power. Mirage Performance. Mirage Drive. Hobie. Enjoy the ride. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. Let us make this absolutely clear. The days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time, because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. The IFA Redfish Tour is presented to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Back to Georgetown, South Carolina. This is the last stop in the 2016 Atlantic Division of the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. We'll get back to tournament coverage with a team of Rob Beglin and Eric Gobbett. We just drifted down this bank. Tides turned. You know, we started catching bigger fish. And the smaller ones seemed to be on that low end of that uh, cycle, that uh, last part of the tide and they weren't really hitting. They were just kind of picking the baits up. So now that this tide's turned, the bigger fish are getting a little more aggressive. So we're gonna run one more pass down this thing and hope so we can find at least one decent slot. We'll check back with Beglin and Gobbit shortly. For now, we'll join Brian Mims and Ernest Wallace. This is torture, yeah, torture right now. Fixing the change up and do something different as far as baits. That's a better one. That's a better one. Get in it. These fish might be coming in here. I think they're coming in here and feeding on these shrimp or feeding on the bait. Bait fish and all, ganging up, rounding them up, pushing the shrimp out to come here. 
mud and we're coming across them. Yeah, that'll be a... Get out from under that mud. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Damn. Come on up here. Put him in. Put him in the bush. That's better, That's buddy. Better. 21. That takes a lot of pressure off right now. I just like to put a second one in there. That size or bigger. All right, this is a better fish. So when we leave that lid up, they help settle them down, I think. It's not bad, I'll take him. 21, we're getting closer to what we need. I just, I don't know. It's a tough day in Georgetown. We'll get back to the Redfish Tour later, but coming up, we'll look in on the IFA Kayak Tour, presented by Hobie. Hello, my name is Bill Carson. I'm the field marketing manager with Johnson Outdoors Humminbird Man Coat and Cannon. And today I want to show you just a little bit about the helixes and how the helixes work and why the helixes are some of the most incredible and affordable units on the market today. The Humminbird units are so easy to operate that it gives the angler the ability to do more fishing, which in turn gives them the opportunity to do more catching because the helix is incredibly bright because the Helix hey, comes available with side imaging and down imaging, and because I can put the cartography into the unit, I have the ability to be able to fish more effectively. It absolutely is changing the way that people catch fish. The Hummingbird Helix also pairs with a Minn Kota trolling motor with the patented iPilot link. It will change the way you fish. Check out the IFA's Facebook page for the full video. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible iPilot link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any depth contour, and more. All automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the link remote. They talk and you'll be speechless. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. 
The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Minn Kota Trolling Motors, anywhere, anytime. And by Lucas Oil, it works. We're in Georgetown, South Carolina. IFA Kayak Tour on um, the last event of the season. Man, these events always get me all pumped up. Every, every, uh, it's on the calendar every year and can't wait to fish them. This is the Wando River. And it's, uh, it's got a lot of nice trout and some decent reds. You could pull a nice red out of here sometimes, but mainly I'm looking for trout right now. The IFA Kayak Tour presented by Hobie is a catch, photo, and release event. Anglers are looking to catch their best redfish and trout combination. Points are awarded based on the total cumulative length. I like the, the IFA, like the professionalism of the tournament. Um, just the, the, the challenge of trying to catch a fish with uh, artificial base only. Just being that close with the environment and nature and uh, being able to just use your, your own strength, no, no gas powered vehicle or boat and motor or anything like that. Um, watching the sun rise a few minutes ago, I saw a seagull catch a fish right in front of me. Just, it's beautiful out here like this, being close to the water. IFA is something that is very structured, very organized, you know, it brings a good base of competitive anglers uh, from across our region that we don't really have for some of the other venues. Um, and it's nice to come out here and compete against them and, you know, the prizes are nice too. I mean, they, they have a decent payout. I think 2010 uh, was one of the first kayak year. It was the first kayak year, and I think Charleston was maybe the second stop. And, um, you know, it was heavy in the kayaking then, but there wasn't too many tournaments around that came to Charleston and gave it a shot, ended up winning it. I got hooked to tournament fishing and uh, just kept at it. It's been pretty good. I'm on a nice little streak. Uh, I guess th three, three in a row I've won out of Georgetown, so hopefully four, we'll see. It's tough fishing. This is some of the best anglers around, not just kayak anglers, but these guys know how to fish, so, uh, so if you can win one of these events, you're, you're, you're doing pretty good. For first place, $1,500, also first place in the Angler Advantage another $290. Also, he got $250 gift certificate, courtesy of PowerPole, nearly a $2,000 weekend for Mr. Justin Reiner. Oh my God, it's, it, this is like, this is a long time coming. I've been fishing the IFA events for about four years now. Had a handful of top fives, never won it, come real close. And it just, it takes so much to, to win one of these things. All the stars got to align, you know, everything has to go your way. And with the day, way my day started out, I didn't think it was gonna happen. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to take the win finally. A big congratulations go out to Justin for his first IFA win. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10. For information on how you can be part of the action, please visit ifatours.com. We hope to see you on the water. Coming up, we'll get back to tournament coverage from the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. There's a bunch of money on the line and it's almost time to head to weigh in. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. 
Amphibious sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Lucas Oil Marine Products, established by performance, built on quality and proven on land and sea. Lucas Marine Products offer a complete lineup of outboard engine oils, fuel treatments, lubricants, and boat care products. Expect optimal performance from your investment by using Lucas Marine Products. Available at Cabela's. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is also brought to you in part by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. By Hobie Kayaks. By Arctic Ice, we put the cool in cooler. And by Pure Fishing, built with innovation, fueled by passion. Welcome back to Georgetown, South Carolina for the final regular season stop of the IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's. We'll get right back into tournament coverage with a team of Rob Baglin and Eric Goddard. Watching the shrimp. I was going to say, you got to watch something hey, else. It's small. We did all right today. We caught. Over two dozen, 30 fish, something like that, ain't it? It's a lot of small fish. Um, I think, what, five fish were in the slot? Ain't five fish, yeah. Five fish in the slot. <clears throat> Not what we were expecting or hoping, but that's red fishing. There he goes. I turned that nice fish. Seen the damn cork take off. I gave him the second. That's about the third time it went under like that. My man on the cork. He's upper end, it's not big. Come on. Ooh, we're good. My man. Nice as the last one. Rob and Eric have two in the live well. They're hoping this fish will call. He's about 21 and a half. Weigh him real quick. And then I'm gonna weigh this one in here. Uh, a little over three pounds. It's three and a quarter. Let me measure it. Let me let me look at it. It looks fatter. Same. With hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on the line, every ounce counts. The wrong decision here could be the difference between cashing a check or not. With time running out on the day, we'll check in one last time with Brian Mims and Ernest Wallace. Frustrating. It's been a good day. I mean, we've caught fish everywhere we've gone. We've, we've caught them. It's just execution. I mean, had one break off first thing. Had one just get off. That was good fish. Had lines pop on fish. Don't know what they were, but it's just a frustrating day. When you're on fish and you're catching fish, we caught plenty of fish. Not counting on the hand, we caught, I'll say we caught 20 fish, 20, 25 fish, coming around in there all day. But just didn't execute on the right ones. 
Back in Georgetown, we'll head to the scales. Mims and Wallace only managed one keeper for the day. Their fish weighed three and a half pounds, putting them in 39th place. Good job at our next team up. It was a tough day for most of the field. Out of 72 teams, there were only 34 limits caught. Beglin and Gobbit brought two fish to the scales for a total weight of 791, putting them in 15th place. They missed cashing a $500 check by just three one hundredths of an ounce. Looking at the top of the leaderboard, this was the first IFA event for David Banks and Jeremy Collins. They weighed a limit for 928, putting them into second. They'll take home a check for better than $2,700. I've always watched uh, um, IFA on TV and stuff and always wanted to uh, come down and, and do one of these tournaments. And we just decided this week, I think Monday, uh, we decided to, to make the call and, and enter and come down here. I've never been here before. Just uh, turned out good, man. It was awesome. Awesome fishery. The top prize for this event is a $27,000 package that includes a brand new Yamaha powered Ranger boat. And that went to the local team of Mike McDonald and Lynn Ford. We had a plan. We got an opportunity to practice a little bit. And we had a plan. We stuck to the plan. We didn't never vary from the plan at all, and that really worked out good for us. Congratulations go out to McDonald and Ford. Here's a look at the rest of the Cabela's top 10. A big thanks to the folks in Georgetown for their help and hospitality. The IFA will be back again in September of 2017. Fishing's not all that we have here in Georgetown, mind you. Uh, this is, an, as I said earlier, this is an outdoorsman's paradise. People love to come to the beach. And if they can come, to, come and enjoy the beach and uh, enjoy the recreational opportunities as well, uh, it seems to be a great fit. And that closes out the 2016 regular season of the IFA. Check your local listing for the 2016 IFA Redfish Tour Championship presented by Cabela's, coming soon to a TV near you. We'd love to see you on the water with us at our next event. For schedules and information, please visit ifatours.com. The IFA Redfish Tour presented by Cabela's is a Careco TV production. Thanks for watching.